What's going on guys? Thank you for joining me again for another video. Today we're talking about why every VW Audi owner should own OBD11. So if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, then you know that I've used OBD11 in a lot of situations. Um, I have a ton of videos out which I can link down below um, on different things that you can do with the OBD11, but I've never really taken the time to go in depth and uh, take a look at this device. OBD11 is not going to be a replacement to VCDS um, because obviously that system is a lot more intensive, but it is the next step from it. But in order to take a look at it a little bit better, um, it's time to pretty much plug it in. If you guys own a Volkswagen or an Audi and don't have this, you might do yourself a favor and pick one up. Connecting to this is pretty simple. You pretty much just grab this and uh, plug it into your OBD port. You're gonna turn the engine on so that all the accessories are on. And then you can just pretty much uh, open up the application for OBD11, which you can find on Google Play. Um, and the main page is gonna look something like this. Um, we're gonna connect to it. And as soon as it starts connecting, it's gonna look for that Wi-Fi connection. It's gonna look for your um, your OBD11. Uh, but it's very simple to connect. The system automatically finds the OBD11 device in your car. Once the system finds your OBD11 device, the first time around you might need to select it, but nine times out of 10, it's just gonna pull up the application just like this. And it's gonna say scan. Now you can do a couple things with this. Obviously, you can scan for faults um, and issues that are going on with the car. So if you get a check engine light, you know exactly where it's coming from. Also, if you have any faults in the car, um, such as, you know, lights not working or uh, anything of the sorts, your radio not working, anything like that, um, you could also find on this. Now, we're going to dive a little deeper and we're going to do a little scan of my car. Now, I don't have any um, check engine lights in my car right now. But that doesn't mean I might not have any faults. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using OBD11 is um, obviously you want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're messing with things like this because you can dive very uh, deep into a lot of things that are um, with the car. So, such as long coding. If you don't know how to long code um, bit and byte and you don't know the difference between any of that stuff, don't touch it because chances are you can screw up something in your car. So just like anything else, if you cannot do this yourself, find a video online that's going to help you do whatever it is that you want to do. Or if you really, really feel like you might screw something up, then you probably will. Make sure you contact a professional that can help you out with things like this or a friend that's done it before. It says I have 12 faulty control units. Well, that's not good. It says I have some air conditioning um, errors. To tell you the truth, that's probably just because I don't have a Climatronic. Um, I don't have Climatronic control on this car so um, I have the dial so that's why that's there um, and it'll tell you a bunch of different things a lot of them if you have a base model car you're gonna get a lot more codes than you would on uh, on a fully loaded Autobahn because uh, that car pretty much has everything the system is looking for um, but that doesn't mean your car is broken that just means that you know you just don't have all the features like I do if you've gone through all of your faults and you realize that it's just because you have a base model you can go ahead and hold it down and that'll clear all the codes that you have going on. Now, that's not the only reason why you would use OBD11, obviously. There are a lot of multiple uh, different reasons. I personally, my main use for OBD11 is all about the apps and being able to code different things, such as my uh, taillights to work properly. Um, also, the window function up and down thing that I did, um, a lot of my headlight modifications, things like that, tail light modifications, all kinds of stuff that you can do on your car um, through this device without having to actually code it yourself using VCDS. So um, they have a point system um, for a lot of the things that they do here. And you could just either come in every single day and earn five points just by logging in and just to keep accumulating until you uh, go ahead and have enough to run the application that you want to run. I believe when you first get this device, uh, you get about 100 points um, to use or something of the sorts. So you can use those towards doing some of the things that you like to do. The most popular feature uh, found in OBD11 is definitely going to be the apps feature. If you're not a professional or someone who knows what they're doing in regards to editing the different central electrics, um, OBD11 gives you all of these applications that you can do. Um, so if you're installing aftermarket taillights and you want to get those coded with a different harness, um, you know, a bunch of different things that you can do on the, in the car that's, uh, you know, going to kind of help. The cool thing about this is 
you can actually dive a little bit deeper into certain things. Um, you'll pull all of your control units right here, and you can actually go through each and one of those and edit uh, different things on them. I remember when I first got this car, the applications weren't working because I was running a 2017. But what I was able to do was actually go into the uh, different control units for uh, under Central Electrics and edit my window settings so that way they work. Um, so if the application's not working for you, you could always dive in and uh, do a lot of those things. Um, another cool thing that I think I like about OBD11 is the fact that you have your garage um, where you can keep all of your uh, different cars. I've actually used this, this uh, OBD11 device also on Sammy's car to run a couple of applications. So if you guys want to see more about Mark V applications for the OBD11, uh, do let me know down below. Um, overall guys, this is a really cool device. Um, it's something that I think every single VW Audi owner should own because of the flexibility and how small it is. I don't have time to be carrying around around a big OBD2 uh, extension or whatever and uh, and then you know running codes if they ever pop up or anything like that. It's a very small device that you can just keep in your bottom drawer underneath my seat. Um, I, that's where I keep it in my GTI but you could also keep it in your glove box, in your center console and then whenever anything pops up you can actually check on the fly exactly what it is. You don't have to plug something in, look for a code and then go googling online to see what exactly is going on with your car. If you're also ever curious about what other cars other than your own, you can run this on. You can actually click on where it says supported vehicles under the settings tab and you can actually pull up every single car that OBD11 works on. Now some more popular vehicles like the GTI, the Golfs, and you know some of the Audis, the, the S's, and uh, things that are very similar to the GTI um, are going to have a lot more apps available because they are more common um, for some people to adjust those things. So uh, the things that are most popular, OBD11 has created apps for to make it easier for everyone. All in all, guys, I think it's a great little device. I think every single VW Audi owner should own something like this um, that's going to you know, allow you to check codes and, and things and faults on the fly and also modify your car to you know, better fit your needs. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for hearing me rant. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.